Put your hands together for Jeff Schaefer. Hey, all right, everybody. You are a great crowd. Great job with the energy. Do me a favor. Don't give the energy to anybody else. Screw those guys. I want all the goods. Um, it is really great to be here at the uh, actual comedy club. I've been doing a bunch of like, just like small bar shows and stuff all over Long Island. I was just doing this thing the other day and I'm doing my set, I'm telling my jokes, and all of a sudden, poof, a guy kicks the door and looks at me and goes, hey, your mother's got a great ass. Poof. And he was gone. That's pretty rude, right? Like that's, what do you do? So I go, I'm telling my jokes, I'm doing my thing, I'm talking about pink eye, and then poof, opens the door. Your mother's the best lady in town. Poof, gone. Now I'm pissed off. I'm like, this is unacceptable. This is my mother, we can't do this, but whatever. I'm telling my jokes, I'm going to my thing, and boom, and I say, hey, go home, dad. <laughs> Can't take that guy anywhere. <laughs> My parents are joining Facebook recently, so that's about to be over. How about you guys? Right? Right? That's a thing now. And I'm okay with it because Facebook used to be awesome. But basically, Facebook was awesome when I was awesome and all my friends were awesome. Now we're all so lame, it is bringing down Facebook. For example, I have this friend, her name is Tamara. Tamara used to be really awesome. Just the other day, the next day, she put on Facebook, she goes, oh, Thursday night, staying home, gotta clean up the house. Pretty standard stuff. 10 years ago, Tamara put on Facebook, ah, that's a lot of dicks. Just the other day, she put on Facebook, she's like, can't wait to, cut, wait to cuddle up with a good book and get a good night's sleep. Ten years ago, she put, after what happened last night, I think my mouth is pregnant. <laughs> That's what being 30 is like. Now the only excitement in my life is I get to watch my weight and my credit score head for this epic collapse of failure where they combine in the middle. <laughs> the day they meet at 300, I'm going to shoot myself in the face. And I have a little brother who just turned 18 who automatically thinks I should be good at stuff, but I'm terrible at being an adult. And he goes to me, he goes, Jeff, I need you, can we talk? He said, I need you to tell me everything you know about sex. I said, Joey, this is gonna be a very short story. <laughs> He's like, oh, come on, man, I'm just so nervous I'm with this girl, she's getting serious. I'm just afraid I'm gonna be terrible at it. You know, I'm sorry, I've never done it before. I'm like, Joey, relax, you're 18. You're gonna be bad at it for a while, relax, don't worry. And he goes, well, how long till you get good at it? I said, as soon as I find out, I will let you know. <laughs> but I knew I needed to get serious. He really actually needed my help. And I knew this because a couple of months ago, I caught him masturbating to the instructions inside a tampon box. And this kid, yeah, yeah, that stuff. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be judged by the people who have rats, though. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> So I, he gets to, he's like, Jeff, seriously though, do you use a condom every time? I said, Joey, I used a condom the first 10 times I had sex. He's like, that what happened. I said, that the girl made me throw that condom out. That's a long time, guys. Are we all right? Are we good? So, but seriously, I'm like, Joey, all right, never mind. Condoms are like seatbelts. You're supposed to use one every time. But nobody does. And if one breaks in an accident, you were probably too drunk to put it on in the first place. And he laughed a little bit like you guys did. He's like, ah, condoms like seatbelts. They should give out tickets for that shit. Ha ha ha. Like, Joey, they give out babies for that shit. So much worse than a ticket. All right. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are having a good time tonight. I do want to let you know, uh, I am selling a CD after the show. Uh, it's a used Pearl Jam CD. <laughs> <laughs> Things have been really, really, really tough. I've been getting a lot of advice recently, though, about uh, how to meet new women, which I really appreciate, except for most of the advice is coming from my girlfriend. 
So I don't know how I feel about that. She heard the story about my little brother, and she's like, oh, baby, do you think we can afford a pregnancy? I'm like, sweetheart, we can't afford the test. <laughs> but we, well, we have been together for four years. That's a round of applause for her. She's not here, but four years, but this hot mess, my goodness. And we finally, we finally did the hall pass thing. You guys know what that is? The hall pass? Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know, you get to pick anybody that you didn't want to sleep with. You know, that's the thing. I said, all right, who do you pick? She's like, I pick Mike Rowe. I'm like, Mike Rowe? The guy from Dirty Jobs? You pick Mike Rowe? I pick your sister. <laughs> and now I get to have sex with myself anytime I want. <laughs> and she can no longer find the instructions to her tampons. <laughs> I used to, I should be appreciative of what I have, I used to be a terrible boyfriend. I used to cheat on my girlfriend. You guys ever done this? They were right, terrible. She, you know, cheating was terrible. I really hate it. You know, my girlfriend, the worst part about it, she's like, I don't understand, baby. She's not even prettier than me. She's not even prettier than me. I'm like, sweetie, relax. I love you. I love having sex with you so much. Matter of fact, the only thing in the world that I like more than having sex with you is having sex with anyone else. <laughs> I can imagine that didn't go over very well. I had to explain to her, you guys know, it's like, it's like if, no matter how good she is, it's like if you had filet mignon for dinner every night. You know, Monday, filet mignon. Tuesday, filet mignon. Wednesday, filet mignon. Thursday, if someone puts a plate of hamburger helper in front of you, oh, you know, right <laughs> on, someone gives you the hamburger helper, you know, you probably you know, fuck the hamburger helper. <laughs> Oh, she disagrees, but what? <laughs> I should be appreciative, though, because I tell you what, you date these girls and all your buddies, you guys would probably do it to each other. You guys look like buddies, and you're like, I don't know, bro. Don't let her change you, bro. Don't let her change who you are, bro. And I'm always like, I don't know, bro. I'm pretty gross. If she wants to put giant time into changing me, that's okay. Before I met her, if I had a stain in my toilet, I just peed on it really hard until it went away. I've pooped in a litter box. And I have never owned a cat. I should let her change me, right? Like, this is a good thing. To make it worse, I never, and I mean ever, wash my hands. Ew. It's disgusting. I know. And my girlfriend's always like, oh my god. What if some guy just went to the bathroom? What if some guy just sneezed everywhere? What if some guy just picked his nose? I'm like, you don't understand. I'm that guy. I'll be fine. You can only get so much pink eye. Guys, I appreciate you've been a great crowd. Let's get the host girl back up here. Keep the energy up. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys, everybody.